Hi, hello everybody and welcome to Viva Mondo's webinar. Today we are traveling all the way to South Africa uh, with the wonderful Stone who's here to discuss your potential uh, study abroad options. Now feel free to ask any questions if you like in the Q&A box at the bottom of our screen and we will be able to answer those at the very end of our webinar. All right, so I'm going to hand you over to your presenter, Stone. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Stavrola. Uh, good afternoon, everyone who has just joined uh, this webinar this afternoon. Uh, I would like to first commend you for taking your time to join this webinar. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Sikwili Ramaja. I'm from the uh, Central University of Technology in the Free State from the center called Center for Global Engagement, which is previously known as CUT International Office. So uh, feel free uh, to uh, note all the questions that you may have. And some of you might have already applied to come and study at, at CUT. And some of you, you are still looking for answers that you uh, of the questions that you may have on how do you even apply? What are the requirements for one uh, to, to, to apply? And I believe by the end of the session, you will be able or you'll be ready to start uh, your application to study at CUT. And definitely we are looking forward to receive your applications and also to support you throughout your studies at um, CUT. So first of all, it's very important to know who are we? Who are we? So we are the Central University of Technology, like I mentioned where we are hosted in the heartland of South Africa, in Bloemfontein and also Valcom campus. So some of you might know Bloemfontein, but what you don't know about Bloemfontein is that Bloemfontein is the city of roses. And also we are the juridical uh, capital of South Africa and also one of our campuses, which is in the heart of uh, Free State in the gold field area, that is a mining area, that is one where you can get one of our campuses, which is Welcome Campus. So at the moment, the university has got opportunities that is willing to share with you as prospective students and while you are a CUT, while you are a registered CUT student. So we pride ourselves in a rich cultural diversity as the university. And also we form part of that rainbow nation that captures the diversity of South Africa and also the 11 official languages that you guys might be aware of that these are the languages that you would get in South Africa. So South Africa is one of the emerging success stories if you reflect on the African continent. Hence, it's very important for you to think of your studies in South Africa at Central University of Technology. So the Central University of Technology is one of the leading universities of technology. As I said, it's commonly known as CUT. So we are brightly, uh, we are very proud to say that we are accredited by the Department of Higher Education, which you call DHEAD, and also we are a member of University of Africa, USAF. And internationally, we also associate ourselves with the International Education Association of South Africa, AISA, uh, whereby we also mention that our university has got strong leadership with innovative and creative professional staff members. So you definitely will be uh, in good hands of the professional staff members that you will get a CUT. And today, as I'm talking to you, we boost ourselves that we have over 21,000 students in both our campuses, which out of that, we have over 400 international students. We have decided to take up the studies at CUT. So you guys, you are going to increase that number of international students that have enrolled at CUT. So what can you study at CUT? We do have four faculties at CUT, which is the Faculty of Humanities, Faculty of Engineering and Information Technology. Also, we have a Faculty of Health and Environmental Sciences. And lastly, we have a Faculty of Management Sciences. So out of these for four faculties, you will get different departments that host different courses that you may be interested in. 
We do have Center of Excellence as we pride ourselves that we want to become a leading university of technology in Africa. So through the Center of Excellence, we are able to innovate. We are able to produce some innovations that can contribute to our vision of becoming a leading university of technology. We also pride ourselves that we give students an opportunity to have an experience in the industry through our work integrated learning programs. We know that it's very important as students to have an experience from the industry. So we believe that theoretically you will be safe, but also how do we supplement the theory that you would be getting within the university with the work integrated uh, learning. So as a CUT student, you are assured that you will definitely get that industry exposure once you are enrolled within the university. So as we start today, our applications of 2023 are opened and uh, you guys, you are more than welcome to apply at any time that you'd like to apply. I'll definitely share a link of applications in the, in the chat box and definitely you will get it in your inbox before the end of today on how do you apply to become a student at CUT. So what are we looking for when you guys apply? We are looking for a certified copy of your foreign school living results. So if you are busy with your final grade in high school, you can submit the results that you have, which you might have completed your first semester or first half of the year where you are able to submit the results that you have received today. If you have already completed your high school and you have enrolled in other institutions of higher learning and you'd like to further studies at CUT, that qualification or certificate that you have received, if it's a foreign certificate, you will have to evaluate them with the South African Qualification Authority, which is CYQA, and thereby you have to submit a certified copy of that. However, if you haven't evaluated your results, you are more than welcome to still apply a CUT, while on the other hand, you are busy with your evaluation process. So it's very important that you also certify your passport while you are preparing for your application at CUT. So our applications are open, like I said, and we expect that your applications should reach us as earliest as the 30th of September. We often advise international students to apply as soon as they can, because you may be all aware that you will be requested to apply for a study permit post your admission within the university. So we want to give you enough time to, proce uh, to, to process all those required um, visa stuff that you will need in order for you to enroll a CUT. So we say that, please try by all means to submit your applications not later than the 30th of September. So we make sure that our application is very seamless application, whereby we are often available to assist you in the challenges that you may come across. So to all the postgraduate applicants that may be interested to come and study a CUT that have attained their qualification out of South Africa, like I said, it's very important that you go uh, to evaluate your results. You evaluate your results, with the South African Qualification uh, Authority. So for any student, for any student who'd like to study for your diploma program at CUT with the foreign school living results, you are more than welcome to apply without evaluation of your results. However, if you would like to apply for a bachelor program, a bachelor program, you will have to evaluate your results with the matriculation board. However, like I said, it's very important that you start your application while you are busy with your uh, evaluation, evaluation process. So what do we use as CUT to convert your school living results? We have what we call an admission point conversion table. So we use this APS conversion table to convert the results that you may have that you have got through your school living. So some of you might be busy with your IGCSE syllabus. Some of you might be busy with your AS level or A level or different syllabuses that you can mention that one would get within the SADAC region or even beyond that. 
So this is a table that we use to convert uh, your, your, your results uh, that you have received. And I'm going to make an example with uh, uh, one of the syllabuses that one could uh, definitely look into if they want to apply a CUT and how do they convert? How do they convert their admission points? Because the university use an admission point system in order to admit students into different uh, programs. So this is an example of an APS conversion. So we do have different programs, like I said, either you, you, you apply for a diploma program or a bachelor program. So in this scenario, we have got a diploma in engineering, technology and mechanical engineering, and also a bachelor of engineering in technology and also mechanical, I mean, in mechanical engineering. So both programs have got different admission points. So for a diploma, one would need a maths 50% and also physical science, um, 50%. Uh, While also with your BN, which is your Bachelor of Engineering, would also need 50% uh, in your physical science, 50% for your English, 50% for your math. So we don't really accept your math literacy. But then the admission points in your diploma program, we're looking at uh, 27 points, while in your bachelor program, we're looking at 32 points. So that's why you get uh, a difference. But now let's say Tabo. Tabo is an, a prospective student who would like to study at CUT. And he would like to pursue a diploma in mechanical engineering. And Tabo, where he is, he's about to conclude, conclude or complete his uh, uh, school living and he wants to know what do I need in order for me to study at CUT? And also how do you calculate the admission points that I may have in order for me to study at CUT? So Tawa is busy with his ICG uh, CSE level, whereby in math, he managed to get an A symbol, which automatically if we convert it, it gives us five points, five APS points. Then if he, in physical science, he managed to get a B, which gives us four points. And now in is he English, English, he managed to get five points, which is an A. And thereby in other three subjects, Tabo has managed to get uh, 14, 14 uh, points. So with the three subjects that Tabo ha has completed, he got 14 points. And now 14 plus 14, it gives you 28 points. So Tabo, if he wants to study for a diploma in engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, with the 28 points that he may got or he may have received in his um, school living results, he would definitely qualify. He would definitely qualify for a diploma. But then if he has to qualify for a bachelor, Tabo would need 32 points. So it's very important that one would understand one would understand how do we calculate the uh, admission points? How do we calculate the admission points? So we use the admission, the, the APS conversion table in order for us to determine how many points do you have so that we can see if you qualify for a specific problem. I'm often available to assist students with the conversion for them to understand which programs would they be able to qualify for. So feel free to drop me my email that I will share by the end of this webinar, and we can be able to assist you moving forward. So also, why would you consider to study a CUT? It's very important to note that we prioritize safety and security on our campuses. We also offer health and psychological counseling services to our students for free, because we do understand that students once they have enrolled at CUT, they may come across some of the challenges, which are social issues, either at home or either where they stay or either wherever they go in different environments that they would go. So we offer these uh, services, which can range from academic support services, your reading development, and also social work services. So all the services, they are provided by registered psychologists and all this information that you may share with the psychologist 
are is uh, confidential information. So if you have any form of personal crisis, our wellness center is there to help you. So all the services are free. So you just have to make an appointment as a student. So from your academic support, CUT is prioritizing this because we understand that you have to get enough support in order for you to complete your studies at CUT. So also we do offer uh, an affordable and quality um, education and also our accommodation within the university. We do accommodate international students within the university residences whereby a student would have to apply while you are busy with your uh, application for a specific program that you'd like to enroll for. We also advise that if you would like to stay within the university, you can start to apply for your residence application. So all your fees and also accommodation within the university, these are affordable fees that would definitely suit your budget. And also we offer a off-campus accommodation that a student would definitely wish to stay, which often is privately owned. And this accredited um, off-campus accommodation is just three or two to three uh, kilometers away from the university, because it's very important that you stay around the university for any thorough academic activities that you would like to be part of and you don't stay far away from the university. So Farah, why would you even consider to study at CUT? As a university, we offer different uh, sports code, which are part of our student life and different organizations that would help you as a student uh, while you are at CUT. So promising sportsmen and sportswomen have over years studied at CUT. Some are, had managed to be at the international and also uh, uh, at the national level. So sports bazaaries are available for the promising sportsmen and sportswomen, whereby this will be definitely afforded based on the merits of the students. So such bazaaries are awarded to individuals who participate in leagues, sports in the name of CUT. So uh, we also have student organizations that promote uh, entrepreneurship, within the university. And I can uh, proudly say that one of the organizations that promote entrepreneurship within the university has become the South African champions, and that is Inecta CUT. So Inecta CUT is a leading organization within CUT that promotes entrepreneurship. And this organization will be representing South Africa in the World Cup of uh, in Nectar's uh, organizations. So we are very excited about this kind of achievements because that's where we want our students to go. That's how we want to uh, expose our students in different aspects beyond their academic uh, life. As the Center for Global Engagement, like I said, um, is formerly known as an international office, we thought pride ourselves with international academic partnership because we understand that for a university to become a leading university it has to be globally connected so cut has got over 60 international academic partnerships whereby we are also working on uh, some european union funded projects looking at how do we continuously improve either through research and also teaching and learning within the university. So these are some of the initiatives that the university strive to ensure that our students become global citizens and they are aligned with what is happening around, around the world. As, an inter as a prospective international student, once you have registered within the Central University of Technology, you automatically form part of what we call the International Student Association. So the International Student Association aims to improve the experience of you as an international student at CUT. So like I said, this is an automatic membership. You don't have to pay any form of membership. So what does the International Student Association do? We aim to merge and connect cultures. Imagine you coming all the way from Zimbabwe. You don't have friends within the university. Who would you connect to? 
then we we'll say that here is an association that you can become part of where you can make friends, where you can network with other people, other people that you may not have met before in order for you to feel at home. So the aim is to ensure that you feel at home, you're fully integrated within the CUD community and you feel that without any going anywhere, I have made CUT my home. So through International Student Association, we do different um, events that makes that aims to ensure that we remain connected and fully integrated, and we can still connect with the rest of the world without leaving CUT. And how do you reach us as the CUT International Office or Center for Global Engagement? You can easily contact us on the uh, details that are on the screen. So either you contact me, uh, Mr. Sikwili Ramajo, uh, on the email that is provided there. And also, you can still contact uh, uh, my colleague, Ms. Sijake, on the email provided there. We also have a WhatsApp number that you can use to reach out to us um, to, we, because we created this number to ease the communication process between prospective student and the university. So feel free to drop us a text on how can we assist you. We are always available to ensure that you get the attention that you need in order for you to process your application within the university. So that's all from me. And I would be definitely happy to get questions from you in order to ensure that you have a smooth application process to a study at CUT, or if you have applied already, I'm also available to take some questions that you may have. Feel free to ask any question that you may have that may be related to your journey to study at CUT. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Stone, for your presentation. That was brilliant. Uh, we do have some questions here for you, so I will kickstart that now. Um, the first question, is this study in person or online only courses? Thank you so much uh, for that question. At the moment, we do have uh, only um, uh, physical programs that needs one to be within the university. However, from 2023, we'll be offering few programs, not all of our programs, few programs that will be offered fully online. So from 2023, we do have postgraduate qualifications that would be offered fully online. Okay, thank you. And the next question, uh, do I need to speak South African and how high is the employment rate after I finish my studies? Okay, great. In order for you to study a CUT, you definitely have to be fluent in English because English is a medium of instruction. Then in terms of employment, it would depend which skills do you have because as often you are requested to go back to your home country post your studies. However, if you still possess critical skills that form part of the list of the South African, uh, the South African government, you would definitely be considered for some of the employment opportunity based on your critical skills that you may possess. But if you don't fall within that critical skills list, then unfortunately you will definitely have to go back to your home country to pursue some employment opportunities. Amazing. And can I meet future employers? Let's see. Definitely. Definitely. As a registered CUT student, you have an opportunity to meet future employers because, like I said, through a work integrated uh, uh, learning, we do have an office that deals with work integrated learning. And we host some uh, career guidance uh, 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 exhibitions where different employers are invited. That's where you are able to get an opportunity to engage with employers uh, from the industry. Perfect. And is there a way to study two programs at once, like a dual program? At the moment, we do not support dual uh, program registration, so you will definitely have to register one program within the industry. Okay. And are there any scholarships available? We do have scholarships, like I said, uh, sports scholarships. So if you are a best uh, or a promising sports woman, or I mean, a sportsman, you are able to apply for this uh, uh, scholarship. If you are pursuing your postgraduate and uh, you would be doing your master's or PhD, definitely we do have some institutional scholarships that you could get while you are registered for your postgraduate studies. Awesome. And what act activities do you have in ISA? 
In ISA, we do have a uh, cultural and also social activities. Like um, once you have registered within the university, either in the first or second semester, the International Student Association makes sure that you know or you are familiar with um, the town, Lungfontein or Velcom, where we organize either a city tour for you with your professional uh, tour guide to ensure that they give you a brief history about uh, any of our, our, our cities where our campuses are based, either in Bloomfontein or Velcom. And also we organize some educational webinars where we ensure that these webinars uh, create some awareness of what is happening within the university or also what would be possibly a benefit for our student post their the studies at CUT. Like at the moment, we are also working on work uh, readiness programs. These are programs that are organized by the International Student Association to ensure that when you leave the university, you are ready. You have acquired the CUT graduate attributes and you are ready to be a perfect candidate to be employed within uh, the industry. Okay, and what are the accommodation options there? Like I mentioned in my presentation, we do have on-campus and off-campus uh, accommodation. So if you prefer to stay on campus, you are more than welcome to apply for accommodation within the university. Also, if you wish to stay off campus, we do uh, uh, give a list of, uh, I mean, um, accredited off-campus uh, accommodation that is quite uh, close within the university because for us to determine if we are going to accredit an accommodation, it has to meet certain standards that we know that our students will be safe, our students will be uh, fully connected 24 hours in that kind of residence where they'll be staying so they don't fall behind with their schoolwork. So we ensure that these are kind of residences that are well equipped and are conducive for learning to accommodate our students. Okay, and do you offer any guidance to work after I finish my studies? Definitely, work readiness programs, we do assist you through our work integrated learning office. Amazing. And do you have any internship opportunities? Uh, like I said, we don't really have full internships, but most of our qualifications for you to complete the qualification, you have to go for a work integrated learning. So normally this would be either in the first semester of your last year, or the second semester of your last year, where a student has to go into the industry as a, as a will student and complete few practicals there in the industry. And then for them to get that qualification, they will have to show competency that you have received in the, uh, in the industry, then they will get their qualification. So that is an opportunity that we give to our students in order for them to complete their qualifications with an experience from the industry. Awesome. And for someone who is working, do you have any part-time classes available? Definitely. We do have full-time and part-time classes. So if you have enrolled and you are working, you are able to attend part-time classes. Okay. And the last question, if I do not have enough points through my exam results to meet the criteria, is there anything else I can do to earn extra points? Uh, can I uh, beg your pardon, Steph? So sure. if I don't have enough points through my exam results, is there anything else I can do to meet the criteria? Definitely. Uh, some of our programs do offer extended curriculum programs where a student would enroll for that uh, external program for them to qualify for the main uh, program. So not, however, not all programs do offer some external programs. So a student is more than welcome to drop me an email where I would definitely assist them on how to work on their points in order for them to qualify for specific programs that are interested in. Okay, well, thank you so much, Stone, for all of your information. And thank you to you guys for your questions. That have been great. We will be in touch very soon um, for all of the information that uh, Stone has offered and the webinar recording will be coming to your way very soon. Um, any last words, Stone? Uh, from my side, like I said, I would like to commend all those who have joined this afternoon. We are looking forward to receive uh, their applications. Definitely, they will get some correspondence from us in the uh, uh, mail boxes. So they should look out for a communication from CUT. And we wish them the best with their applications to study at CUT. And we are looking forward to have them as our students at CUT. 
Amazing. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. And um, we will be in touch very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.